The father said to his slaves, quickly bring out a robe, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Luke chapter 15, verse 22. New shoes. People get excited about new underwear. When I asked our youth group what they learned while serving in various ministries across the city, the teenager on the mission trip who spent the day distributing clothing at a center for those experiencing homelessness responded, people get excited about new underwear. The rest of our band of volunteers giggled, but I'm not sure that was the desired reaction. This participant tended toward the serious and thoughtful. Perhaps he did not want to, excuse me, perhaps he did want to impress his peers with a quip about underwear, but his answer revealed that he had nonetheless noticed the impact of something everyone in our group no doubt took for granted. Despite his shy demeanor and reserved manner, he rarely talked in our nightly gatherings. He expanded on his initial impression. New socks really make a difference too. He paused and added, and new shoes. The giggles gave way to a serious conversation. Living on the streets eats away at people's dignity. Walking everywhere not only wears out shoes, it damages feet. Hygiene challenges persist when access to showers, bathrooms, and toiletries is scarce. Used clothing fulfills the purpose of covering and warmth but who wants used socks or underwear? Doesn't everyone want shoes that are theirs alone? The young man who had distributed clothing that day lamented that there had not been enough new items for everyone, noting the visible disappointment of those who'd missed out. New socks, new underwear, and new shoes could not only make someone's day, they could also enhance someone's health and restore someone's dignity. Sometimes something new signifies that someone is valued, worthy, and noticed. The familiar story of the prodigal son tells of a young man returning home expecting to be shamed or relegated to secondary status, but who instead receives an unmitigated welcome, new clothing, new shoes, and a party. His father sees him, runs out to meet him, and wants only to show him how deeply valued and beloved he is. Grace never does just enough. By definition, grace overflows, explodes, exceeds, gratuitously manifests in unexpected ways. Grace is exhibited by embarrassing public displays of affection, weeping in joy, running in welcome, new robes, new rings, new shoes, a huge party where all are invited so that no one could possibly question their value or belovedness. People get excited about new underwear and new socks, and new shoes. You will get excited when their inherent value and dignity, their individuality, and their God-given worth is honored with welcome celebration and new shoes too. Questions for reflection. When have you experienced a sense of being valued and beloved? How was that expressed? Have you ever been surprised by a gracious response when you expected judgment? Have you ever offered grace to someone expecting your judgment? Prayer for the day. God of grace, you run out to meet us in love when we anticipate having to beg for your mercy. You see our uniqueness and you know our value as your children. As we bask in your embrace, marvel at our new clothing and celebrate at the banquet given in our honor, our excitement grows. Knowing the joy of such grace, we look to live in ways that cause your mercy and goodness to explode and overflow into every corner of our homes, community, and world. Amen.